Pao Southern African Regional Office Secretary Eunice Pinge says the maintenance of these sanctions are blocking Zimbabwe from doing business with the rest of the world, plunging the already crisis-ridden nation into economic chaos. Zimbabwe, which was once the breadbasket of Southern Africa, has rapidly slided into an economic chaos, experiencing some of the highest inflation rates in the world, with prices of basic commodities such as bread, fuel and medicine skyrocketing and also in short supply. Ipinge emphasized that the adverse effects of these sanctions have resulted in poor access to health care, inflation of basic needs and have increased poverty levels. We call on progressive women and men in Africa and in other parts of the world to join us in protest marches to the U.S. embassies to demand an end to sanctions of, on Zimbabwe. These sanctions on Zimbabwe are a direct attack on the livelihood and safety of women and children of Zimbabwe and the African women and children also. Ipinge also described the sanctions as nothing short of crimes against humanity. We fully support the call by SADC for United Nations of America and the European Union to lift their sanctions against Zimbabwe. These sanctions on Zimbabwe have a devastating impact on Zimbabwean economic and the political stability and the whole region of Southern Africa. And Zimbabwean women and children suffer significantly from the effect of those sanctions. Approximately 400 delegates from all 54 African countries are expected to descend on Namibia to attend the Pan-African Women's Congress slated for the 26th to the 28th February next year. The Congress will deliberate on a wide range of issues affecting women across Africa.